Matty took me under his wing as I was a, a young kid coming through, 1999, and took me away on all the overseas trips and taught me the meaning of hard work, showed me how to train hard. So I've always looked up to Matty forever. Um, looking back at the time when, when I wasn't getting a game when he was coach, you feel hard done by, but you reflect, as Matty said, as time goes on, and I completely understand why he did what he did. I wasn't playing well enough to get his, deserve a spot at that stage. So it was frosty there for a couple of years, but you know, we, we caught up maybe in 2013 or 14 and over a couple of beers at Darrell Wakeland's 40th, I think it was, and ever since then we've been back good mates again. So things in footy happen, they happen and you move on and um, no fault of Matty, I deserve what, what happened to me back then and it, it's great now that we can you know, talk about it and have a laugh. Uh, look, no doubt, it's, um, you know, whether you stay involved in AFL and you, you see guys um, around other clubs or you're totally out of it and you go into a different walk of life, it's, um, there, there is always a connection. You always you always have that in the back of your mind. Um, and then, just because we're not at the club today, but we're back here where, where they're training, um, there's a connection as soon as you walk in, you see familiar faces, you see the logo, um, straight away you feel at ease. Um, so yeah, no matter what you've been through, how long you haven't seen anyone for, how often you keep in contact, um, you always have that bond of guys that you play with and, and you work with. Um, you certainly had that today, and um, you, you're always going to have that for the next 30, 40, 50 years of your life. Now, as coaches, we had a discussion at the start of the year about like connection, connection to the group, but also a connection of past legends of the footy club. Um, it just tied in well, as, not, as Matty said. He was up here, we're having a camp up here, so uh, we rang to see if he would talk to the boys about his experiences and what made him such a good captain and, what, and such a good leader. And the talk he did to the boys then was, was brilliant, and you could tell they were really engaged with it, so very thankful that he agreed to, to come up and speak to me. You know, I left Port Adelaide and straight to the Gold Coast. You, you don't really think about your time. It wasn't until I uh, started to put down some notes last night. You actually started to think of how much the club meant to you. And um, obviously, there's a few of my teammates who have been there for a while. There's a few other guys who are now back there, and so it was great to be able to see them, um, their faces, when you walk in the room too, and, and spend a bit of time with them. So not really trepidation. I was really glad that I did it, and um, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot about what the club means to me um, and what the club's taught me and how much it, it means to me now and then it did at the time when I was involved with the footy club. Um, a bit about my time as a leader and how I tried to lead and what leadership meant to me. Um, and a bit about the performance of you know, trying to play well week in, week out and in finals and those sorts of things. And we had our, I certainly had my ups and downs in that and so it really is a footy club. So just trying to get those messages, try and resonate with this group. and. Um, you know, a couple of things that they've been through the last couple of years, just missing out and those sorts of things is what I went through as a playing career and how quickly they can turn around and how you try and turn that around. You know, you get a lot of these talks throughout your footy career and sometimes guys not off and look on their phones or look in the other direction, but everyone was on Matty because the message he was giving and, and describing is very similar to what we're going through at the moment and really relevant to this camp and what we're trying to build going forward into, into next year. So was one of the better talks I've heard like that. The boys loved it. They were engaged at the end. They asked a lot of questions. It was a really, really great day.